this problem, we are going to graph the, well, we have a graph. We're going to write down the function that created this graph. They gave us the base function x squared. So if we write all the transformations forms, it'll look like a times f of a x minus h plus k. Let's look at this function right here. There's three, the three key points we normally use are right here. And they're almost set up like normal. So we know it's the y equals x squared function. And if I quickly graph it, it would look like this, 0, 0, 1, 1, negative 1, 1. There is a stretch, but <clears throat> it's not horizontal. It's vertical, but it's a vertical reflection. The graph's not really being deformed. It's just being flipped upside down. So that means the big A is negative 1. And that's the vertical stretch. There is no horizontal stretch, so the little a is just 1. There is no stretch, so multiply by 1. That's the same as not doing anything. So we can actually just skip that completely. There's definitely shift happening. And the way we see the shift if I graph just the y equals negative x squared, just flips that original function over like this. I'm not really paying attention to the graph paper. I'm just graphing very quickly here. There is definitely some shifting going on. This point right here goes left three, do horizontal first, and down one. So ready to put that in, that left three so we're looking at the h now. So we're ready to write our g of x with all the correct values. So it's negative 1, or just negative f of a. We don't need a. a is just 1. So it's going to be x. Now I'm going to try minus 3. But remember, it's always the opposite. Minus 3 would be right. We want to go left. So it's actually x plus 3. The k, we want to go down 1. So that happens right there, minus 1. And what is our function? Our function's x squared. So what I want to do is take f of what we have here, x plus 3. So just put x plus 3 where you see x above, and so you get x plus 3 squared. And now swap that in right there. Negative x plus 3 squared minus 1. And that is our g of x function that goes right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and erase the answer with my fingers crossed. All right, there we go. So that is the graph that we see written down. And I'll just go ahead and circle that final version right there. And there's our g of x.